back to my channel. My name is Brooklyn if you're new here and today is a super exciting video because we are finally sharing our nursery tour and our name reveal with you guys. So as you saw from the beginning of this video, our sweet baby boy's name is Emmett Woloske Maldonado and yes, I know it is a mouthful. Um, his middle name Woloske is actually a family name. It is my husband's mother's maiden name. We definitely wanted to bring some of those um, roots from his side of the family back into his name. So that's why we chose to put that as his middle name. Um, but he will be here so soon and we are so excited to meet him and to bring him home into this nursery. We definitely like worked so hard on this nursery and it turned out so perfect. It's extremely simple, but everything that I like had envisioned. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I will have everything linked down below. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment and I will try my best to like tell you where something came from or answer your questions about whatever. So if you want to see our sweet boys nursery, then just keep watching and we'll jump right into the nursery tour. Okay. So this is the view from right outside of the nursery. This is just kind of an overview of what the room looks like. So starting, I guess we'll start right here with this big mirror. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I got it when it was like 50% off. So I got it for super cheap i think it was only like 50 or 60 bucks and it's a pretty good size we are going to put something else on the wall like beside the mirror but for now that's perfect simple easy this table is from amazon and it literally matches so perfectly with the sage green we just have extra blankets down at the bottom and that might change out we might put like breastfeeding supplies or whatever baby might need that will be close by with the chair and then on top I just have my write to me journal this is my pregnancy one so I've been keeping track of everything in there and then moving on to the chair this is from Da Vinci and it is a swivel recliner chair and my mother-in-law got this for us as a gift. It is so nice. Literally so soft, so comfortable. I literally just love to come in here and sit in this chair. And then the pillow is from Target. And it is like two-toned. So you can switch it out if you want. And then we have Oliver the Bear from Cuddle and Kind. Which matches the nursery perfectly. So that is the chair. The curtains are from Bed Bath & Beyond and they are like a sage and cream and they also match super well. They are blackout curtains and then the um, curtain rod is from Target and it's just a walnut which matches. The dresser and the crib are both from Baby Leto and I will have as much of it as I can link down below, but this set was new. Whenever we ordered it, it was just released and we love it. It literally ties everything together and looks so good. And then on top of the dresser, I have a picture frame from TJ Maxx and this just has one of our engagement pictures in it. I'm going to switch it out for a maternity picture when I get those printed, but that's in there for now. And then this little lamp is from Target. And then we have the Kikaru peanut changer on top here and our um, wipes dispenser. This is from OXO and it's one of the weighted ones. So it's not a warmer, it's just like a weighted wipes dispenser. And then I just have some cleaning wipes up here and some hand sanitizer just to keep things clean. And then next to it, we have the Ubi diaper pail. And then we have our little fake fiddler tree. And this is from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. This was such a steal. It was only like a hundred bucks, I want to say. And it looks so good. We did buy the 
basket from TJ Maxx, I think, and then some moss, and we put it together down there. But yeah, that looks so, so good in here. And then we have his name sign, and this is from Creating Happiness. I will link their website down below and their Instagram, but they made this sign for us, and it's like 3D, his name sticks out. But it turned out so good, and it really pulls the room together. So then for his crib, I kept it super basic and I just have a plain white sheet and then I actually bought this pillow for his chair but it didn't really like flow very well so I moved it over here and obviously it won't stay in the crib when he's in it but for now it's just sitting in there and then we got this really cute name blanket at our baby shower that matches his nursery perfectly so I just have it draped there the little fur rug underneath the crib is from TJ Maxx. And then this big rug is from Target. And I will try to link everything down below, like I said. So check down there if you want direct links. His E above the crib, my husband and I actually DIY'd. So we made this and it was a lot easier than you would think. You just... We just bought wood, stained it, and then I painted the E. We have it like extremely secured to the wall so that whenever he is like mobile, he won't be able to pull that down. And same thing for his Emmet. And then over here I have his little hamper for his clothes. And then my husband did this wainscoting on this wall it's kind of our accent wall and it turned out so good he did such a good job on it I'll also have the paint colors listed down below too just in case you guys are interested and then over here we have his closet and then I made this little wall hanging I just bought yarn from Hobby Lobby and put that together right there okay so moving into his dresser so this first drawer right here is just diapers and extra wipes. And I just plan on keeping that stocked up with that stuff. And then the middle drawer is lotions and diaper creams, powders, boogie wipes. There's some pacifiers in here. We have pat pats. Um, we have a wub and nub. Just a few different kind of pacifiers. I have the baby bum, some Q-tips, and the nose Frida boogie wipes. Just like essentials that would be easy to get to. And then in this drawer, we have all of his hats are right here. And then we have some mittens. Uh, we have a few pairs of shoes here. We have some hospital hats here. And then this is all socks. So just his little basics there. And then moving it down here. So this is all of his sleepers here and I have them labeled for my husband. So we bought these um, separator container organizers from Marshalls and I love them. Um, they came with like dividers and I just cut them and put them back here and then bought labels and labeled everything. So this is newborn and then this is zero to three months. And then these are just onesies. And these are all newborn. So we have like the solid white, the colors, and then like the design ones. And then these are the long sleeves. And then I have just a few zero to three months right here. So that's really organized. So if my husband needs to dress him, he can. And then down here is all pants and same thing I have labeled. These are all newborn pants, zero to three months pants, three month. And then these are his jeans and stuff. And these are all 
either zero to three or three months but they're just like the jeans so those are his pants and then this is his bigger stuff so this is the three month sleepers all right here we have three month short sleeve onesies and then these are like all the short sleeve onesies that have like designs on them these are plain and then these are all long sleeve and then these are short sleeve zero to three that wouldn't fit in the other one that have like designs so everything's labeled perfectly though for my husband and then in this drawer I have some um, breast pads nursing pads in here I have an extra boppy cover extra sheets and then these are all burp cloths and bibs all right here and this is just like bags to wash laundry in So that is everything in his dresser. Okay, and then moving into his closet. This is what it looks like when you open it up. My husband did completely redo this closet. We bought this um, set from Lowe's. So the whole like closet set thing. I'll link it down below. Um, up top in this container, I have all of the clothes that are just too big for him. So... Um, ones that aren't on hangers anyways and then I have the floor mats that we'll put down when he gets a little bit bigger over there in that corner that basket has like diaper bag stuff in it I think for now since I don't necessarily have his diaper bag completely packed I just have like his hospital bag packed this one has all of our extra bottles a ton of teething stuff um, just stuff that we might need later but we don't need right now and then we have his baby monitor that we actually need to set up in his bumbo chair back there. And then these are all the clothes that should fit him. So we have a tiny little section of newborn right here. And then I have zero to three months and then three months back there. And then down here, same thing. I have newborn, which is just this one tiny little vest. And then all of this is newborn. And these are all like his sweaters. Or they're three months. These are all his vest and sweaters down here. And then his docketot is right here. So those are basically all the clothes that he can wear now and then up here I have all of his books that he got at his baby shower and just a little pair of shoes and then I have this sweet gift that one of my friends got me for his first curl and first tooth and then um, a felt board this lion is actually a toy for our um, golden doodle for when we bring him home for the hospital so we need to put that in our hospital bag so we can give that to him and then I just have this diaper cake still here. I'm going to take it apart eventually, but I don't have anything to do with the diapers right now. So I'm just going to leave it put together. But this is from our baby shower. And then we have um, another cuddle in kind. And some blocks that were made for us that say his name. And then this is actually his baby book. And that is from Artifact Uprising. Okay, and then in this first drawer, I just have all of his extra blankets and swaddles. And then this drawer is all like extra, all of his medicines and like samples that we've gotten and stuff like that. And then these bins are from Target. And in this one, I just have like extra toys. And then over here, I just have like all of our warranty paperwork and just um, safety stuff, extra things that don't have a home right now, really. So those are all just there. Over here, I have a little basket with all of his little stuffed animals in it. And then we have our stockpile 
of diapers and wipes in here. And then back here, stacked up, I have all of the extra bags for his Ubi diaper pail. And then I had my husband put a hook in right here so that I could put my extra diaper bag. This is my Itsy Ritzy diaper bag. I'm taking the bow and rattle one to the hospital, which I have that video up on my channel of my hospital bag if you guys want to see it. And then all of these clothes are his bigger clothes. So these are all three to like starts at three to six months and goes all the way up to like 12 months. So none of those have been washed and they're all just hanging out there. And then we have his Yergo baby carrier in the back, back there. So yeah, that is his closet. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Baby boy will literally be here in just a few days and I cannot wait to introduce him to you guys. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because his pictures will be there first. I will have that right here and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.